Volcanoes are nothing but a mountain out of which hot melting lava comes out. While there have been many volcanic eruptions in the past, some were so bad that the entire air traffic had to be stopped due to the ashes. Now there are several reasons why air traffic must be stopped during a volcanic eruption. Through research, it was concluded that ashes from volcanic eruptions can be dangerous for aircraft and their parts, as they could be damaged and major important and protective gears might fail to perform. Here are a few volcanic eruptions that were responsible for the shutdown of air traffic. Number 1. Cumbreviana Volcano, La Palma, Spanish Island. La Palma is a Spanish island and comes under the Canary Groups of Island. The eruption at La Palma started on 19 September 2021. Due to the high amount of ash and lava spreading across and exploding high into the air, the local airport was shut down until further notice. The eruption intensified and started its explosive phase destroying a lot of houses. Named the Cumbreviana Volcano since its start, it has exploded thousands of tons of lava. It went on for months until on 13 December 2021, it finally ended. Number 2. Mount Abang Volcano, Bali Bali is a tourist hotspot in the world and thus thousands of tourists come here. Situated in Bali is also an active volcano. In November 2017, the Mount Abang Volcano erupted five times which eventually led to its international airport being closed as its altitude reached 9,000 meters. The airport was open for three days after as the intensity and altitude decreased, but the threat wasn't eliminated and it can happen again anytime. In late June 2018, the fear came true as the volcano erupted again leaving the airport to shut down as the ash reached 2 kilometers higher in the air. It finally stopped in 2019. It is an active volcano and can be erupted again. Number 3. Ejafjallajkull Volcano, Iceland The Ejafjallajkull Volcano in Iceland erupted and went to heights of almost 9 kilometers and the ashes were dispersed across Europe, leading to the largest air traffic shutdown after World War II. This shutdown left 10 million passengers stranded and costed $3.4 billion. While many airports opened after two or three days, many weren't until 23 April. Later, the ash clouds were traced to check where it was going so that the airspace can be informed beforehand. In May, those ashes came and many airports were shut down again for a day until the airspace was cleared again. An absolutely unforgettable day for the European aviation industry, around 100,000 flights were cancelled across the entire Europe. Passengers were stranded, and while many criticized this move for shutting down the airports, it was for the best of all as the damage the ashes from the volcanic eruption can do is a lot worse. Many people criticized the government saying that they were being too cautious at what the ash can do to the plane. While many might not be aware, the ash can be disruptive to the aircraft. It can damage it from the inside, cutting down important gadgets and other. In 1982, a 747 with 263 passengers and crew was unaware of the ash which erupted from the volcanic eruption and flew right into it. Due to the ash sandblasted, all four engines of the plane shut down. With no supply of electricity and no power, the plane went for nosedive from being at 36,000 feet to 12,000 feet, but luckily, pilots got the control of the engines and with time, they were able to perform the emergency landing. So this is a clear example of why you cannot let the ash of the volcanic eruption sandblast the aircraft. Number 4. Iceland Iceland is situated right on top of a volcanic hotspot, and thus it suffers eruption every four to five years. While the age of Chalajakol volcano in 2010 is something the aviation industry won't be able to forget as nearly 100,000 flights were cancelled across Europe. Though the airport is working as it should be, there is no alarm yet but being the hotspot, one can never say. Though according to the government, they can handle the situation better than before, and if a similar situation arises, they can handle 50,000 flights approximately. While there have been many volcanic eruptions, there haven't been many cases where the airports were shut. Rarely there are some that I have told you already. Volcanic eruptions happen when there are disturbances inside the rock and these disturbances generally are caused by earthquakes which lead to the eruption. Volcanic eruptions are not very predictable. During Bali's eruption, many people had to leave their homes and tourism in Bali saw a fall of 30% since that eruption. In Iceland, almost 6,000 people had to leave to survive. Since Iceland, there are active volcanoes and also is a hotspot, we might or might not see the same 2010 repeat. And the one in Bali is an active volcano as well. Thus, we might or might not see the shutdown of airports again and maybe they have thought a different way. Alright guys, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this. See you guys next time.